Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Forever Batmobile. I'm so excited for this Batmobile. This is my second favorite Batmobile, right next to the Keaton Batmobile. I love Batman Forever. I love the movie so much. I watch it, honestly, at least once or twice a year. You know, it's just, I just love that movie so much. I know it's got its, uh, its issues, but for me, it's just a fun awesome Batman movie and I, I love it. I really do. Um, and I especially love the design aesthetic of it, especially moving from the Tim Burton era into the Joel Schumacher era. Uh, I love both the designs. Uh, this Batmobile is fantastic. I love the Batman and Robin Batmobile uh, as well. I think that's a really awesome design. Love the Batwing in Batman Forever. So yeah, I'm a big fan. So this is uh, suffice it to say, I'm very biased already coming into this review. But uh, yeah, I just I'm so excited that they made this Batmobile. Still can't believe we're getting all these great classic Batman movie vehicles and figures from McFarlane. Uh, just so excited for this. But anyways, here's the Batman Forever Batmobile. It does come with Alfred, has lights and sound as well, which we will activate during this review. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's take it out of the box and let's take a closer look. All right, my friends, so there she is. There is the Batman Forever Batmobile. Yeah, just out of the box, I love it. it you know, it's the Batmobile from Batman Forever. It, that's what it looks like to me. I know there's issues, which uh, I'm already noticing, which I'll go into. It's not perfect, but for me, it is. Honestly, I think it's going to look great on the shelf. And I'm just so happy to have a Batmobile like this in a 7-inch scale. And uh, yeah, I'm already really excited. <laughs> but let's talk about the features um, right off the bat here. Let's talk about the lights and sounds. So to activate the lights, you press this button right here. This particular mechanism activates the blinking lights as well as the sounds. You can hear the engine revving up there. If I press it again, lights go off. Press it again it does the the lights where it's not blinking it's just kind of staying still there so let's take a look at it like this first of all it is green in the middle there but i also do, do see blue as well in the tires especially or the rims there it's blue on the top here it's more bluish but definitely in the middle section there somehow it turned green or is green for some reason but i definitely can see more blue than i've seen in the promotional pictures or the footage but definitely a big swatch of it is is green there but it's unfortunate i wish the whole thing was just blue obviously to be completely accurate but i still think it looks really cool it i think it looks fantastic even like this even with all the the green you're seeing in the middle there but uh, yeah, so that's how the lights work. I press it again, it'll turn off. Press it again, it does the blinking lights and sounds. And I thought I would just be quiet for a moment so you could actually hear the, the sounds. But there you go. So very easy mechanism for the lights and sounds. Uh, then it also has another button on the other side here for the cockpit. And I will try to do my best I'll actually do another segment going into the con cockpit, take my camera off the tripod here to do that. One of my favorite parts of this vehicle, one of the things that I love that they did was they made it so that the hub hubcaps don't rotate or the bat symbol does not rotate as the car moves. That was one of my pet peeves back in the day from the Kenner version of this, that the bat symbol would move because in the movie, the bat symbol stays you know, it doesn't move when the wheels move. So I just love that they did that. A little rubber tire here, that feels good. But yeah, there it is. So again, just love this Batmobile. A couple of things, I wish the lights had lights on them. That would have been amazing. Or at least to be colored with like, a or had a piece of plastic to make it look like a light. Also, I think this part here should have been, um, I don't want to say see-through, but uh, skeletal as well to see lights underneath it if I do believe but i'm not 100 sure about that then the fin on the top it doesn't separate like in the movie so that's that's a bummer that would have been cool if it separated but it doesn't then here is the back of it and yeah there it is there's the batmobile let's take a closer look now at the actual cockpit all right so we're going to zoom in a little bit to the cockpit and as you can see there's some great detailing there in the cockpit it's hard to get around the fin there. I probably could have taken it off, but let's make it harder. 
But yeah, there's the cockpit. See some bat symbols there. Cup holders. Just kidding. I don't think those are cup holders. But yeah, some great detailing with the, the cockpit. Let's turn it around a little bit. There you go. This works. This works. You can see the inside of it more. Looks like those are just st stickers on there. But, you know, they're already on there. So that's great. And yeah, so there's the inside. And then let's rotate a little bit. The chair or the seat. That looks pretty basic. But there you go. I'm sure Batman won't have any problem getting in there. We'll get him in there in a minute, but there you go. There is a look at the cockpit. All right, so I did put Batman in the canopy, so let's take a look at how he looks in there. There he is. I did take a little finagling with his legs to get him in there, and you could actually get him in a lot further down if you wanted to, but he does fit in there pretty easy. The canopy closes very easily within with him in it, so that's always nice. Obviously, it's a one-seater, but there you go, there's Batman in his canopy. We definitely still need a panther suit to have a proper Batman in here like in the movies. That would be awesome. But yeah, he fits in there. So if you want to keep a Batman locked away in there, there you go. As you can see also, the glass is not see-through really in any way. It's, uh, I, I love that. I think that's pretty accurate to the movie if I'm not mistaken. So that's that's really cool. Very nice tinted glass there. But yeah, just ah, I love this so much. This is definitely going to be a display piece for me. I'm going to have to find a place in the Shed of Solitude to keep this. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at Alfred and to see how our trusty butler turned out. All right, so we're back. Apologies for the audio changing so abruptly when I went for that uh, Born Identity shaky cam uh, footage. I forgot to attach my actual um, microphone to the camera when I did that. So that was all iPhone microphone uh, for those last two segments. But anyways, we're back. And here is a look at Alfred. So... I think this turned out pretty well. I think the head sculpt is is pretty on point there. That looks like Alfred Pennyworth to me. Uh, I I will do a comparison later with the... Uh, he looks a little pale, though. That's the only thing. He looks a little, little pale. He could use a little bit of sun, Alfred. But other than that, you know, nice addition to the Bat family. I love all these regular human characters. Or not human. All the characters in Batman are human. But you know what I mean? I like Alfred. I love Morgan... Uh, Morgan Freeman, Lucius Fox, and um, I would love to see Gary Oldman. I would love to see all of the supporting cast of the Batman movies in plastic form as well, because I would definitely purchase those. I would love a Vicky Vale, uh, Chase Meridian. Uh, those would be all awesome. So, yeah, there he is. There is Alfred. Uh, anything, the only other thing that he come this came with was the trading card, Alfred and the Batmobile there, and then a display stand for Alfred, so... There it is. But yeah, there it is. There's your look at the Batmobile. These are my first initial raw thoughts just after opening it. I'll do a follow-up video doing some comparisons to the other Batmobiles, things like that. But I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Obviously, the major gripe there is just the lights, you know, wish it was all blue all the way around. That would have been great. But at the end of the day, I won't have the lights on too much. Although it would have been cool if it had like a USB adapter so you can keep it plugged in all the time. <laughs> that would have been pretty rad. But no, what are you going to do? But there it is. There's your look at the Batmobile. Let me know what questions you have. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.